Hello, my name is Michael. I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District based at Crab Cove and today we're going to learn about one of my absolute favorite birds, the Western Bluebird. And I'm not alone. So many people love bluebirds because they're just, they're beautiful. The male is an intense blue and the female is beautiful with su more subtle colors. Besides being so beautiful, they're also really fun to watch as they hunt. Bluebirds will hover in the air and then they'll bounce on their prey, which is usually like invertebrates like insects, spiders. They also sometimes eat berries, but in the warmer months, they are almost exclusively insectivores. Bluebirds are also really fun to watch as the parents bring food to the nest. So they nest in holes in trees in undeveloped areas, almost exclusively. And holes in trees are often really noticeable. So you can actually watch them as the parents, both the male and the female, come into their nest and feed their babies. Alameda is a great place for bluebirds, especially Crown Beach and Crab Cove where there's lots of open space, plenty of prey for them to eat throughout the year, and there's trees for them to perch on. Right around Crab Cove, as far as we know, they're almost exclusively nesting in nest boxes like this. And that brings me to a story. In 2013, in the spring of 2013, there was a bluebird nest at Washington Park, just, you know, a two minute walk from here. The bluebirds were nesting in a hole in a tree, and it was the first nest that we'd ever heard of for decades on this island. It inspired Francis Mendoza, a naturalist with East Bay Regional Parks, to work with a local middle school. And those kids designed, built, and helped install six bluebird boxes around Crab Cove. Some right around here near the pond, and near the dog park in Alameda. That first spring, one of the nests was used and it was successful. Perhaps the first successful nest of bluebirds in who knows how long in the city. The next spring, four nests were used. And ever since then, at least four nests have been used. And now we have a really stable and, and healthy population of bluebirds on the island. If you live or go to school or work in an area where bluebirds could live because there's plenty of open space, lots of insects for them to eat, berries, trees to perch on, but there's really no nesting possibilities, I encourage you to think about installing bluebird boxes. It's a fun project for families, for school groups, and it could really help the local bluebird population. I also really encourage you to come to Crab Cove Come and watch the bluebirds. Right now, most of the, of the young birds have fledged, meaning they, they're flying around, but their parents are still feeding them. They're all over the place, and it's really fun to watch them. Nesting is usually March through June, so certainly come at those times, but you never know, they might even, uh, they might even extend that a little bit into summer. So come to Crab Cove to watch them nest, and we also encourage you, when you're walking around your neighborhoods or other parks, to look for one of the most beautiful birds around. Thank you very much.